Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be. One of the problems with Weebly, which is the host that I use for my website, unitedcomputingconsultants.com, is that I need to know something about code to put a coloured background on the website. Well, I don't particularly want to uh, write code, so I use an app called Callout Box, and it works like this. It's very, very handy. In the Build tab, here next to Elements, you'll see a tab called Apps. Click on the Apps tab, and there is the Callout Box. And when you click on the Callout Box, it takes you to this page, which pops up with uh, the word Add in a little tab to add a Callout Box. So what you do, you click on Add, and it says Callout Box will be added to there. No problem, so we now click Connect up here in the top right hand corner and when you connect you'll be given uh, some um, and now when I go to the elements and scroll down I'll see here there is a call out box so it's virtually all automatically done for you now the way it works quite simply is this what I'm going to do is to scroll down near the uh, further down the page and I want to put this particular element here which is a text element uh, in with and create colored background I'm going to create a light gray background so what I do I drag the call out box below the text this is I found the best way to do it and then what I do it says drag elements here I move up to the text element and I simply drag that down and drop it into the uh, callout box making sure that the blue line is actually in the callout box that's one of the keys and there I see that my um, text has a grey background and if I uh, click on the top area I'll see that the callout box comes up where I can choose if I wish another colour uh, this one is light grey, I'm happy with that, but I could choose any other colour and you'll notice that the, that, uh, the colour to the background will change. Now, there is a little bit of a trick here and it is this, that if you want to remove the uh, call-out box and put your text back to no background, what you need to do is to drag the text out first and put it on its own and then delete the callout box because if you don't do that the text will be deleted along with the callout box so just to show you again how it works drag your callout box after you've added it to your site drop it under the text element and then drag the text element down drop it into the callout box making sure that the blue line is in the callout box release your mouse and there it is. There are various other options that you can experiment with with the uh, with the call out box. Uh, for example, uh, you can change the border color. So if you want a black border color, you can click on there and we'll say uh, black, and you'll notice um, that the border color will change to black when you publish the site. So we'll publish the site just to finish off the um, situation. Uh, go to the site and now if I scroll down I'll see that the text element is now there with a nice grey background. Thank you so much for watching. It's a little bit, little bit of experimentation but by gee it's very handy. So remember a couple of the rules. Uh, make sure you see the horizontal blue line in the call out box when you drag text into it. Uh, and if you want to delete the callout box, drag the text out first, then delete the callout box. Then there are no problems. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.